up what nerdigans this is the one and only packer girl 89 and today's manga nerdigan live reaction video is going to be for nanatsu no taze chapter 224 now last chapter a couple of big things happened one bond made his choice and he's going to sacrifice elaine yeah elaine's going to die and also um we found out more about elizabeth's curse uh, after she gained um you know she was regaining her memories um but what melia says is every time elizabeth regains her memories she dies in three days. So Meliodas is going to have to break this curse in three days. And I'm very curious if um, we're gonna, going, um, going to go up against the Demon King or not. I hope we do. I hope this arc leads to going up against the Demon King. Because I've been dying to see that. Anyway, let's get to this chapter and see what happens next. Um, here we go. Uh, Melidas tells of his cruel, cursed fate. After 3,000 years, at last he has broken his silence. <gasps> yes! Oh my god, we're gonna learn about the curse in full! Thank god! On the wings of black and white, right and wrong, they head for just one point, the free skies. Um, and this is called, um, this chapter is titled, That is Our Way of Life. Oh man, I'm so excited we get to finally see this curse! Or hear, um, read about this curse. It's been 3,000 years since the Holy War, but during its mist for the sins, Elizabeth and I, this is the punishment they set upon us. Again, sounds exactly like the curse and fallen in a way by Lauren Kate, especially when you get to the final book, or, uh, which is um, Rapture. When you get to Rapture and you see what the, uh, see how the curse was made and it was because of love. It's very similar to this. Um, as one of the demon clan for taking the hand of one from the goddess clan, and furthermore the sin of betraying my own com comrades and killing them, as one of the goddess clan for um, uh, uniting with one from uh, the demon clan, the sin of saving even the enemy, the Ten Commandments. A p punishment? But from who? Both of our gods! <gasps> oh! This is so exactly like what happened in Rapture, which is the fourth book of the Fallen series by Laura Kate. It really does because um, we find out about the curse, uh, um, how the curse was casted upon them. I'm sorry, I'm spoiling this, but just getting me hyped right now. Um, that uh, Lucifer and God were the ones that set, you know, agreed on the curse. So this is interesting. Oh man, the one who controls the de demon clan, the demon king, and the one who um, cover governs the goddess clan, the supreme deity. <gasps> wow! Okay, I gotta talk about this design for the demon king. The demon king is making me think of, um, uh, of, like, a Norse mythology character, a god in particular. Um, hold on a second. Just wanna make sure. Cause this is gonna be my fucking thumbnail. Um, but damn, the Demon King is really making me think of a god from Norse mythology. I want to say he's kind of making me think of Thor in a way. Um, uh, like in a way, if he had, if he has one eye, then I could say Odin. But he, he's really making me think of, he was definitely inspired by Norse mythology. The goddess, um, this, uh, the head of the goddess clan, the supreme deity, we can't see her face. At least in my version, and you'll see in the thumbnail, we can't see her face. So I have to imagine... That, well, it looks like she's coming through her portal right now, so that's why we can't see her face. But, um, anyway, let's get, and, uh, she's riding on waves, which I think is interesting. And I wonder if it has something to do with, like, because the goddess clans are inspired by angels, it has to do with glory. If you don't know what glory is, then whatever. In the face of their overwhelming power, there was nothing we could do. Our lives were lost. Wow. They, th th this guy all God of War up in here. And they, they died holding hands together. At least they should have been. I don't know how much time passed, whether it was one day or a few days, but I woke up. And my wounded body had uh, been completely restored to normal. Elizabeth lay dead beside me. W without any idea of what happened to us, all I could do was hold on to Elizabeth's body and cry. Oh my God. Oh my god, I'm about to cry. Like, oh my god, this is really fucked up. The only thing I did know while, um, that was that while I was unconscious, the holy war had ended. 
And then I realized that for some reason I wasn't aging at all. Well, I figured out the reason later on anyways. While I was aimlessly wandering alone through the battle-torn Britannia ravaged by the Holy War, we met once again. There's no doubt that she doesn't have wings. Elizabeth, who's supposed to be dead, definitely had them. But this isn't just some person who happens to look exactly like her. All my intuition and instinct is telling me that. So this is her, this is Elizabeth's first, from what we know, her first descendant. At least the one Meliodas has met, anyway. Um, but maybe it's just me. <laughs> this Elizabeth who was born into a savage tribe be immediately began to open up to me. God, that, again, this really sounds like what happens in, um, hold on. I think I actually have the book. So I could actually show you the cover. Hold on a second. I don't have the book with me, but I do. I'll show you one of the covers, cause, oh, so you guys have an idea of what uh, the series looks like. I have the second book, but this is the the one of the books in the series I was telling you about, the Fallen series uh, by Lauren Kate. Um, it's not this one that um, what I'm uh, for the reference I was making. It's in the third book, which is titled Passion. Um, and what happens is uh, I'm going to spoil it a little bit is that Lucinda is going back in time to figure, you know, to try and figure out her curse. And, um, and one of the, and I think it was the first incarnation of Lucinda, when, when we saw the first incarnation of Lucinda, um, it was very, it was tribal, just like this was. So that's why I mentioned it, because it's very, very similar. And I have to wonder if you, that was inspired by it, but anyway. Um, this Elizabeth, who was born into a, uh, the savage tribe, immediately began to open up to up to me. We got to know one another and began to share uh, things together. One day, Elizabeth's right eye underwent a transformation. At the same time, her power awakened, along with the symbol of the oh, so her power awakened. Kind of similar to what, um, again, similar to what Lucinda's going through, but, uh, but a little bit different at the same time. Um, along with the symbol of the goddess clan, the power, uh, to heal also manifested itself. This was the goddess clan's, um, magic. I had confirmed it as I thought Elizabeth had been reborn. Being reincarnated with her previous life form, life's form, voice, and even name was something so incredible, incredibly strange, I'd never even considered it possible. But I was just so eager with happiness that I told Elizabeth about it all about all of it, and that triggered Elizabeth's memories of her previous life beginning to return in fragments, and soon the goddess symbol uh, began, to, began to appear in her left eye as well. Meliodas, I've remembered everything. That's great, Elizabeth. Listen to me. We have been cursed. Cursed by the gods back then? What kind of curse? I'll tell you, but before that, I want you to promise me something. That no matter what happens, for example, even if I should die again, promise me that someday you will break this curse. What are you saying? Swear it. Fine, I understand. Even if you should die, I will keep my promise with you. Then, thank you, then I'll tell you. Three days after that, Elizabeth died right before my eyes. Your father, the Demon King, and my mother, the Supreme Deity, placed this curse, on, uh, curse upon us. Eternal life and uh, perpetual reincarnation. Whoa. You will never again age, and if you should die, you will be revived. So that explains why Meliodas was in limbo, is because of this, because remember a while back during uh, our fight with the Ten Commandments, um, Meliodas was, he was killed, um, but he was really in limbo because he was, you know, he has to be revived. Um, I will continue to live out short lifespans as a human, and each time I'll, I will forget all my memories of my previous lives. Yes, this is exactly like the Fallen series! It really is! Anyway, um, if by some chance I should regain all my memories of the previous lives, then no matter what you ha what um, happens uh, uh, to you or uh, how you try to protect me, after three days I will unavoidably die. And that isn't all. Every time I am, I'm reborn, I will inevitably meet and fall in love with you. And then, just as inevitably, I will lose my life before your eyes. Again, this is exactly like the curse that was between Daniel and Luce, or Lucinda. It really is. I know I've spoiled the Fallout series, but you should have been reading those books anyway. They've been out for a while. They're really, really good. But it's, I, I'm telling you, we're going to get, we're going to have a war. We're going to be fighting the gods themselves. That's the only way they can break the curse, probably, is um, it, like fight the gods themselves or um, 
are like the demon king and the goddess and the supreme deity themselves, which obviously I don't know if that will work very well considering what happened um, the first time they tried. Or what they, what could happen is to break the curse, there could be like something similar to what happened in Rapture with how Daniel broke the curse on him and Lucinda. So I'm very curious what you guys think about that. Everyone's, like, in shock. I love the look on Escanor's face. He's just, like... <laughs> I think that's the best... I Like, out of all the looks, the look on Escanor is the best. It's been 3,000 years since then, and just like that, I've met 107 Elizabeths 106 times. That's how many times I've watched Elizabeth over Elizabeth's final moments. No matter how many times it keeps happening, I can't... It just can't ever get used to it. Again, very similar to Daniel. And what happens... Um, one of the times Daniel... Uh, uh, or after one of the uh, uh, Lucinda reincarnations died, he tried to commit suicide, and because he's a full-blooded angel, wouldn't let him. So kind of very similar to this, in a way. Um... That's why in order to release me from the suffering, Elizabeth made me promise. Promise me that one day you will break this curse. In order to free this curse, it would take the power of the Demon King, the Supreme Deity, or at the very least, someone with equivalent power. For example, uh, Zeldaris, who the Demon King has lent his strength to. So what do you guys think about that? Do you think that he, by killing Zel, um, Zeldaris... Or, I don't think by killing Zeldaris is going to help. To be honest, I don't think that's going to help. And I don't think they can. I, like, they're going to have to negotiate. I think that's what's going to have to happen. But anyway, and on top of that, something I've now learned from uh, uh, Bartra's prophecies, the revival of the Ten Commandments and the end of the Seven Deadly Sins. I'm sorry, I never meant to end up... Whoa, that prophecy! That's right! I'm sorry, I never meant to end up deceiving you all like this. Uh, wait, but if the curse is broken, then what will happen to you and Elizabeth? Our eternal life and perpetual reincarnation will end. That is the goal of my journey. Oh my god. No, that can't be. So then you two will... So, Meliodas and Elizabeth will die. They are probably going to die by the end of this manga. Oh my god. It's very, uh, again, I know I'm spoiling the series. I don't give a fuck. I'm going to spoil it. But at the end of Rapture, what happens, is, you know, after Daniel uh, negotiated, get you know, getting rid of the curse, and, uh, he, and, um, and after um, defeating Lucifer, what God did was basically say, we're going to let you be reborn. Both of you be reborn as human uh, one last time, and you will have a human life. And that's, and I, I, I have to wonder if something similar would happen where they would both get reincarnated at the same time and find, and meet, um, and, you know, be drawn to each other again. That, like, basically what happened is God said that you would, that they would have to find each other on their own. There's no, no curse is going to do it. They have to find each other on their own. I just am curious if something like this will happen. It would make a lot of sense to me, but anyway... Um, no, that can't... Uh, I already said that. Um, anyways, I'm sure you had other things you wanted to talk about. Um, no, I don't. I, I... Diane, what is it we need to do right now? Go to, uh, Corian to destroy the dimensional distortion, Sniffle Sniffle. Good. Then, for, for now, let, um, let's just focus on the goal right in front of us. Um... As long as his, uh, his nemesis remains undefeated, the suffering bereavement will never will never end. The two of them continue to be bound together by the curse, um, the cruel curse of fate. I got a feeling there's going to be that. I don't think they're going to defeat them in the three days. I don't think that's going to happen. Um, I what I'm still wondering if killing Zeldaris would get rid of the curse. I'm very curious about that, but I honestly doubt it. I don't, I, he can't, I don't think Zeldaris, uh, uh, I think Meliodas is going to have to defeat um, Zeldaris, but he's not going to die because he has to get rid of the curse, obviously. But something tells me we're going to have one more reincarnation of Elizabeth. I mean, this Elizabeth's going to die and she will be, again, be reincarnated, but this will be the last time she's um, reincarnated. I'm very curious what you guys think about that. Um, even though they've learned of uh, their sad fate, 
the enemy they need to defeat hasn't changed and the next chapter is to the ruined city so we're getting closer to the battle but i'm very cu curious what you nerdigans think is going to happen do you guys think that uh Zaldares is going to break the curse do you think that they're going to have to I would love to see them have to fight the Demon King or um, the Supreme Deity. Kind of like a Kratos God of War kind of thing. In, 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 a, in the sense, if you think about it, uh, well, Meliodas' curse is kind of similar to Kratos, but the thing I have to wonder is is when um, Mel uh, it was back during the 3,000-year Holy War, Meliodas had demon wings. Well, what happened to the demon wings? It was that an effect of the curse, or what do you guys think? Because we didn't really get that answer, that question answered. What do you guys think about this curse? Um, what do you, how do you think they're going to break the curse? That's the real question. Do you think we're going to get one more reincarnation of Elizabeth, like I do? Um, or do you think it's going to be something else? I got a feeling what's going to happen is we're going to end up killing Zeldaris, and um, we're going to have a time skip, and uh, where Meliodas meets Elizabeth again, uh, that kind of thing. And the other thing I have to ask is, do you think if the curse is broken, because remember, Meliodas said that that would be their last incarnation, do you think they would there would be a change of heart where they would be reborn again, both of them reborn as mortals, as humans? So Meliodas wouldn't be a demon, kind of like how Daniel wasn't an angel anymore, and technically Lucinda wasn't an angel anymore either. And have one last human life they would not be and they would have to find each other themselves i'm very curious what you guys think about that anyway let me know your thoughts in uh the comment section below and remember to like um share and subscribe to nerdigans inc if you love what i'm doing and um want to contribute to the nerdigans inc expansion there's a few ways you can do that you could donate to the nerdigans inc paypal patreon or purchase something off the nerdigans inc amazon wishlist all those links are in the description box below also make sure you follow me on the twits aka twitter follow my twitch channel for me on playstation network all that in the description box below as well until next time nerdigans i'll be seeing you later